Ding dong, the mongoloid is dead. Now we can go off and party in the woods because it's safe again. Or is it? It's Friday the 13th, part 3 in 3D! 3D! You know, back when, back when it was a big deal and not, and like, not like it is now, where it's just a money grabbing Hollywood gimmick. For the first and not the last time in this franchise, we have a bit of a continuity f up. You see, part 3 takes place based right after the events of part two. So that means this movie is taking place on Saturday the 14th. Yeah, writers, you really did not think that sh through. We still have our copy and paste character types, except in my personal opinion, this group is the most annoying batch we get in the entire franchise. The most memorable is the prankster Shelly. And let's not forget the boys in the hood biker gang. Well, they're not really in the hood, more like in the woods. Oh, for crap's sakes. Jason, can you hurry up and please kill these f***ers already? Jason does so, but during his rampage, a very, very important debut is made in the franchise. Yes, this movie was the debut of Jason's trademark hockey mask, the most iconic prop in the entire franchise. Our final girl Chrissy, while slightly annoying, is actually pretty tough and does give Jason a bit of like bit of a fight. She stabs him, drops a whole pile of books on him, hangs him, and finally gives him the axe. Literally. So with Jason finally dead, we can finally get the hell- OH FOR THE LOVE OF GOD, CAN YOU PLEASE STOP IT WITH THIS F***ING JUMP SCARE? WE'VE SEEN IT TWICE ALREADY! 